He was so brown, he looked like he was burnt in a furnace. Does this man look like he burnt in the furnace? No, no, then this no. is a lie. Right. This is what we are here teaching our people. I'm this is a lie. I'm guess what? What we do? Guess what? I'm Christianity is a religion. The Bible is not a religious I'm, book. I'm good Understand that. that. Good the Bible is not a religious book. The Bible is our history book, and we're just giving our people their history back. The power to change is in our hands. And we do what? We sit back and wait for the white man to save us. We, we sit on and wait on the white man to save us. But uh, watch this. Give me Hosea 4 6. Well, matter of fact, give me, go back to Jeremiah 17 and 4. Right there. Sure. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from that heritage. Now I said we're going to discontinue from our heritage. Now everything we follow, we follow the white man. You follow, we follow Christmas. We follow right, Fourth of doing. July. Exactly. We just got through having our, our people just got through following Easter, right. running around uh, looking for Easter eggs. Right. You know what I'm saying? What Easter eggs and bunnies got to do with the Bible? <laughs> right. Nothing. 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 So now we don't discontinue from our heritage, and now we follow the white man because you know why? Why? We made the white man our God. Right. That's who our God they is. God. That ain't right. That, hey, if we follow Easter, we follow Thanksgiving, 4th of July, we keeping birthdays, we doing any of these things, hey, we can sit there and say we don't know that, well, we know Christ ain't white, but guess what? You follow everything that the white men tell you, you might as well be your God. Right. You might as well be your God. If you don't know your nationality, you don't know what you're supposed to be doing, you don't know your heritage and the things that God gave you, then guess what? The white man is your God and that's who you serve. That's right. I'm going to show you how much we destroyed as a people. Who is this right here? God. You say God. Who you say? God. You say God. Who you say, little man? God. You say God. Who is that right there? Yeah. You say the devil. What you say? God. You say that's God. Like you said that was God. Who you say that is? You say it's God. Who you say it is, man? Okay. You say that's the devil. Two say the devil. One say God. But I'll y'all said that this is Tell them God. what the Bible say God has. Tell so them. somebody Tell that looks them. like you, you say is the devil, and the one that looked like the white man, you said is God. Let's yep. find out what Christ looked like. Bring it up. Let's, go. Let's find out what Christ looked Let's like. Go. Give me that. Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. He said the hair on his head like and the hair on his face was white in color and wool in texture. You know what woolly hair is? What black people have. Hey, Let's go. Exactly. Your hair is woolly hair. <laughs> Does he have woolly hair? What about him? He got woolly hair. Is his hair white? What is his hair? Long and stringy like a dog, right? Like an old hippie. Really? That's what is snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. He said the whites of his eyes was like a flame of fire, meaning they were red. Is his eyes red? Nah, is his eyes red? Ah, he got like two weird. strikes already. Come on, red. And his feet! And his feet. Like, I can see her feet, right? Her feet the same color as the rest of her body. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. Like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Brown. Brass is brown. Brass is a derivative of brown. So let's find out how dark this brown was. As if they burned in a furnace. As if it what? Burned in a furnace. Christ was so dark, it looked like he was burned in a furnace. He was a very dark-skinned black man. You understand? Very dark-skinned black man. That's Christ. So you still think this guy? Huh? You still think it's God, even after the Bible just told you he was black. The white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of. Right. That's who the white man is. He's the devil that the Bible speaks of. He's the one that gave you this lie and told you this was Christ. Right. You understand? He lied to our people. Right. And by him lying to our people, we worship Satan and don't know it. Right. You celebrate Christmas, you worship Satan. You celebrate Fourth of July, you worship Satan. Right. You understand? 
You celebrating Easter, you worshiping Satan. Right. And have no idea that the white man has deceived us. Bring it on. He deceived us, he deceived us, and now we're deceiving our children because why? Give me Hosea 4 and 6. These are the things that we, why we come out here to our people. Our Thank people God got to, to learn the truth. Matter of fact, know. before you get that, give me John 8 13. Our people got to learn the truth. Good morning. Hey, how y'all brothers and sisters doing? Come on down here, sis. Don't be afraid. We out here for our people. Ain't nobody out here but us. You understand? Amongst our people, we got we should have nothing but love. We should be glad to see each other on a beautiful Saturday morning. Y'all, y'all believe in God? Yeah. My man got hesitant. You believe in God? Let me put this a bit. Do you believe in your pastor? I don't even go to church. Bro. Good. That's a good thing. Because you know why? That means you ain't had somebody just sit up and lie to you constantly every single week. Right. I get it from the truth. There you, go. you know what I'm saying? Here's the thing. We just haven't been taught the truth. But in your spirit, you know the pastor was a liar. You felt that he was a con man. You know, you know a con when you see it. Right. You know it when you hear it, right? I'll be honest with you, I'm Muslim. You Muslim? Well, uh, watch this. I'm going to tell you something about the Muslims. The Muslims are just like the Christians. You know how I know? Because neither one of you read the book. Oh, I don't read the Bible. No, I'm saying you don't read the Quran. Oh, I got plenty of Quran. You know what? In the Quran, it states that the children of Israel are the children of God. In the Quran. It doesn't say the Muslims. Right. It says the children of Israel are the children of God. Why is the Muslim by a book talking about the children of Israel? <coughs> Think about that. Why are they talking about the children of Israel in the Quran? Muslims. You don't know that, though, huh? You know why? Hey, you, you, you know why? You know why? You know why it's talking about the children of Israel in the Quran? Because the the Quran, uh, the Prophet Muhammad, he just plagiarized the Bible, and what he did was copy the first five books. He copied the first five books, and then made up the rest. I'm gonna give you that Bible verse where it, it, why it stated that the children of Israel are the children of God. Give me Deuteronomy seven. Sir, Deuteronomy chapter seven verse six. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. God told the children of Israel that they are a holy people unto God. Holy means separate. I mean, he separated the children of Israel. If you look on this sign right here, these are the children of Israel. The so-called black Americans would be from the tribe of Judah. Right. Her sister right here, her father is a Haitian. She right. comes from the tribe of Levi. The Levi were the priests. The <laughs> uh, Judah was the head tribe. King, King David, King Solomon come from the tribe of Judah. That's what bloodline you come from when you're an African American. Right. The Muslims didn't tell you that you was the children of Israel. Because the Muslims did just like the white man. They enslaved us too. Right. They enslaved you and gave you their religion. The white man slaved you and gave you this right here. That's why them young men thought that this was God. Because just what? Just the same way that the uh, white man lied to us, hey, the Arabs lied too. Both of them lied. All the nations hate our guts. Nobody loves the so-called black man. Nobody loves us. And none of the Muslims ever came over here and did a damn thing for the black man here. Right. What they do is come up here and set up shop, open up a store, and send the money back to their people. They don't do nothing for the for the black man that's saying he's a Muslim over here. They don't even recognize you as a Muslim. Read that. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. God said he chose you to be a special people unto himself. You understand? That's why he gave us so much natural gifts, natural abilities. That's why we sing better, dance better. That's why we got this beautiful black skin. We right. don't catch skin cancer. Thank Guess you, what? Bro. It makes us healthy. God blessed us. You understand? God blessed us, but we hate ourselves. Right. God gave us this beautiful woolly hair that grows towards the sun. Think about it. We put weave in our hair. We dyed blood. Because why? We don't know who we are. Right. We don't know that we're special. We don't know that God chose us. We don't know that God chose us. We didn't choose God. We chose this. That's what we follow. Yeah. Christmas, that's what we follow. Yeah. Easter, that's what we follow. Fourth of July, that's what we follow. Going to church on Sunday, that's what we follow. But guess what? If you didn't choose this, you know what you chose? When you became a Muslim, you chose a rock. You 
You chose a rock. Teach. Give me Leviticus 26. Bring it up. I'm going to show you. The Bible gives us everything. It's telling us our past, our present, and our future. The Bible is the only book that has prophecies in it. There's no prophecies whatsoever in the Quran. There's never been a prophet in Islam. Watch this. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 1. He shall make you no idols, no graven image, neither will you have a standing image, neither yet shall you set up any image of stone in your land. Neither shall you set up an image of stone in your land. Every year, Muslims have to go to uh, Mecca and do what? Make a pilgrim, right? What are they praying to? When, they, when they're standing around that standing image, they, they pray to an idol. You know what's inside that thing? A meteor rock. A meteor right. They're praying to a rock. Yo, you gonna tell me you gonna follow a rock? <laughs> right. When you're a Muslim, that's what you're following. That's what you, you call on Allah, you pray to a rock. You pray to a rock. Why you think they crazy over there? Why you think they run around blowing their damn self up? Allah ain't helped them defeat the white man. The white man over there. Blowing their ass up, taking their all. Oh, he ruling them too. Hey, he ruling them the same way he ruling us. The white man ruled the earth. You know why the white man ruled the earth? Because the, God, the people that God set up don't follow him. That's the reason why the white man ruled the earth. Because the men that God has put in place to rule this earth forgotten God. Give me Hosea 4 6. We've forgotten God. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. You know what God said? My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. These young men thought this was Christ. You know what I'm saying? You don't think it no more though. Now, now y'all know this is who? This is the devil that the Bible speaks of. That's right. Now they know that. But before that, nobody ever taught them that Christ looked like them. Right. Nobody ever told them that this Bible was our history book. This is our book. This ain't no universal book. This is our book written by our ancestors. The kings of this earth were our people. Right. King David, King Solomon, that's our bloodline. Right. Jesus Christ, that's our Lord and Savior. Right. That's not the Lord and Savior of everybody. That's our Savior. You understand? Read that. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou has rejected knowledge. He said, our people are destroyed because we reject knowledge. That's right. Stand here long enough, you'll see it happen. That's we'll right. reject the knowledge of this Bible. Right. I will also reject thee. He said, I will also reject thee. So God said, he's going to reject us, Read. Right? That thou shall be no peace to me. That we what? That thou shall be no peace to me. That we shall be no priest to me. So guess what? Now we're not the priest of the Most High God. Now we're slaves. Now we're slaves here in America serving our oppressors. If I ask you, brother, what's your nationality? What you gonna tell me? Personally, universal God alone. You so you you're what? I'm Muslim. So you're a Muslim. Yeah. Hey, guess what? He said he's a Muslim. I know he is. Hey, hey, right now, I know you know what he just found out? What? That the Muslim pray to a rock. Man, please, what, man, I hey, I believe in this right here. You see this Bible? Right you see this Bible? This is what I believe in. Because you know what? This Bible tells me about you. Let me ask you this. How did we get here? Man, please, man. Did the Quran tell you how we got here? No. Why not? Because they didn't tell you that. Watch this. They keep I'm going to show you that the Bible. Let me show you that the Bible told you how you got here. Give me Deuteronomy 28 1. I'm going to show you something. Hey, listen. I'm listening to you and giving you the respect that you want me to when you bro, talk to me, right? To me I am like actually you. talking to you, brother. I ain't saying you to talk to you, jump to you. Okay, I'm bro. actually talking to you. So bro, all I bro. said was, I'm going to prove to you that the you Bible. Prove watch this. All you got to do is first hear the message first. Remember, I just told you. Go back. Before you read that, go back to Deuteronomy, I mean, Hosea 4 and 6. I just told y'all something a few seconds ago. I said, Stay here long enough, man, bro, you and you're going to see right? our people reject now. Right? Right? All right, we're going to find out if this is a white man's religion. 
I know it's I not. Know it I know it's not. Watch I this. Know. Hosea, to the four verse six, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. She said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Would you agree that our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge? Um, I mean, I agree with that. Okay, so so bottom line, our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Here's the reason why. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. Because our people reject knowledge. You understand? Our people reject knowledge. You know what? People that oppress you is never going to give you knowledge so you can uplift yourself. That's you understand? Right. They're never going to do that. Why so understand. Hold on. Listen, bro. Listen. Why you not listen, bro. Why you not but we go that way. Listen. The that. white man downtown, I ain't going downtown where the white man at. I'm going to go to the hood where our people is at. Right. Our well, people in the right. ghettos and the hoods. Yeah. So guess what? I'm yeah. right here. I'm right here where you at. The same place you at. You out here trying to teach me about Islam. I'm in the hood teaching our people about who they are. That's right. That thou shall be no peace to me. See, thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. What did our people forget? See, thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. Guess what? We've forgotten the laws of God. He goes a simple law. Thou shalt not hate thy brother. Right. You know what I'm saying? Do you agree with that law? You think that's a good law to keep? That we shouldn't hate our brother? Teach. You think that's a good law? Bro, I don't hate you. No, I'm just saying, do you think that's a good law? Bro, fuck the Watch, watch this. Do you think we should hold out our sisters or we should marry them? Oh, never. Right. Never so, so guess what? Never. All those laws are beneficial to our people. Right. Now, and watch this. Now, the greatest man on ever walked this earth was Jesus Christ. No. Now, watch this. Come no. on, watch out, brother. Y'all move. Yeah, this is brother move, cool. Y'all fall back. You see this right here? They yeah, gave us this image as Jesus Christ, man, right? Right. They gave us this white man as Jesus Christ. Watch this. Let's see if the Bible say he white. No. Watch this. I know he ain't. But that's the point. Is that, listen, the white man lied on the Bible because for over 300 years we couldn't read. Listen to what I just said. For 300 years we couldn't read. But don't be so quick to argue. Just take the time to I'm listen for me. What? Do you agree for 300 years we couldn't read in slavery? Oh, yes. So guess what? Yes. In slavery, yes. they gave us this image and yes. said, if you pray to this image, we'll give you a day off. But you know what? The oh, image I'm, 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 I'm a right? Who that image hey, represents? Right. 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 Listen, I know who the image is. Right. right, right. I didn't ever say it did. The I'm just telling right. I know it don't. don't. Listen to this. You ain't hearing me, are you? No, no, don't I be so it. rebellious, brother. Come on now. We like men. Let's talk and dialogue like men. You understand? All I asked you, all I said to you was, for 300 years we couldn't read. The white man gave us this image that's to say that's Christ. Now, watch this. It doesn't have nothing to do with the Bible either. Watch this. Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. He said his hair and his hairs were white like wool. That's Who got woolly hair on earth, brother? Nobody. We do. That's no, woolly. Is this woolly? No, no, me African. Black like, people got woolly hair. Yes. That's right. I asked you. I asked you That's who right. got woolly hair on earth. Black people. Read. It's what is new. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Hey, brother, when we drink, what color do the whites of our eyes turn? Red. What? Red. The whites of our eyes. What color do it turn when we drink? Red. Red. It said Christ drank wine. So guess what? It said his eyes were like a flame of fire, meaning the whites of his eyes are red. Read. And his feet. And his feet. The feet going to be the same color as the rest of your body, right? Like I can see her feet. Her feet, is, her body, the same color as her feet. Right. Watch this. Look unto fine breasts. Like unto what? Fine breasts. No, like milk. Fine breasts. So what color is brass? Brass is brown, right? Right. right. Let's see how brown he was. As if they burned in a furnace. He was so brown, it looked like he was burnt in a furnace. Does this man look like he burnt in the furnace? No. Then this is a lie. Right. This is what we are here teaching our people. I'm this is a lie. I'm guess what? What we teach? Guess what? I'm Christianity is a religion. The Bible is not a religious I'm, book. I'm good Understand that. that. Good the Bible is not a religious book. The Bible is our history book, and we're just giving our people their history back. That's right. You understand? We ain't sitting up here lying like your pastors right. and stuff. We're telling our people what the books say. Right. You understand? So listen, we ain't through these pastors at your church. We ain't out here with no collection plate. We out here teaching our, our people who they are. We trying That's to bring right. them back to their heritage right. because guess what? Our enemies lied to us. That's our right. enemies right. lied to us, and we gotta recognize that don't nobody on this earth love the black man here in America. We have enemies. Give That's me that right. Psalms 83. Let's Bring find out who our enemies are. Bring it up. Because well, I, like I said, I hear you saying the Muslims. We know who the Muslims are, right? Muslims are the Arabs, right? 
Psalms chapter 83 verse 1. Keep not thy silence, O God. Hold not thy peace. He said, keep silent, O God. Keep not thy silence. God, God ain't silent because he wrote this Bible for us to read. That's right. He, oh, God didn't watch it. Please. The Bible has yeah, prophecies please. in it. Read. Please. Hold not God thy peace and be not still, O God. For who? Thine enemies. God, God has enemies. Understand? God has enemies, and the children of God has enemies. We are the children of God. Right. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, this is who we are. Right. If you come over here and look over this sign right quick, bro, you will realize who you, what nation. When I ask you your nationality, you won't tell me your religion no more. You will actually be able to say, you know what? I, I'm, I'm from the tribe of Judah. I'm God's tribe of the Right, but where is that land at? Where is that land at? In Africa. Guess what? Is what is Africa named after? What? What's Africa named after? It ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it's named after a white man named Leo Scipio uh, Africanus. Right. That's what Africa's named after. Look it up. You hey, hey, to be deep, look it up. America's it, named after another white man. Right. Hey, hey, America uh, that Pucci. So hey, listen, listen. After. I'm named after this black man right here from the tribe of Judah. Yeah. That's what right. I'm named after. My name is Yuanathan Yasharala. I dropped that slave name a long time ago, brother. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. right. I know I'm an Israelite. I know I'm God's chosen people. I ain't walking around saying I'm no religion. And I damn sure ain't walking around claiming the religion of the people that put us in slavery. Right. Like, before that's the white right. man put us in slavery, the Arabs had us in slavery. That's right. right. For who? Them enemies make up to move. And they that hate thee. And guess what? These nations hate us. Read. Have lifted up their head. Read. They have taken crafty counsel against our people. They have took crafty counsel against our people. That's These right. other nations, God created 18 nations on earth. Those 17 other nations, they took crafty counsel against our people. They formed a government. It's gay. They got it right up in New York called um, United Nations. And guess who's not represented in there? None of these people that's on this side are not represented right. on the United Nations. Because why? They all hate our guts. That's right. They have, have taken crafty counsel against our people. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. So they said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. I know you don't heard that divide and conquer, right? You heard that. They said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Read. That the name of Israel. That the name of who? Israel. Uh -huh. May be no more in remembrance. That the name of Israel be no more in remembrance. When they divided, when they divided and conquered us, they turned us against each other. Right. Now we don't got respect for one another. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. It says, come, let us cut them off from being a nation. Read. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. That the name of Israel be no more in remembrance. Nation is men leading by example.